Candlestick patterns are a technical tool that can be used in many different ways in your trading. They are available on all charting platforms. They can be inserted on any time frame. I have previously created multiple candlestick patterns for strategy context. If you go to my website and you go to more and you will find here SQX candlestick module. And if you click on that, you'll find this page. Just put your name and email address and you will get the custom blocks. You will also get a beautiful ebook that describes all the patterns and how do they look like and what's their code look like and so on and so forth. Now, those patterns can be interpreted in many ways. So for example, an engulfing pattern, which is the high higher than the previous high and the low lower than the previous low. But you can also add more conditions. For example, the close higher than the previous close and the open lower than the previous open. Or you can define that the previous bar is a low bar and the current bar is a green bar. So you can see there are many ways that you can add more derivatives of the same pattern. So what I did is I took those old patterns, I created more derivatives, and now I have 44 patterns that I coded in easy language. The reason I did this because today I will show you two secret methods of how to use the candlestick patterns. Now coding these patterns is not easy. Uh, as you can see, the program is more than uh, 550 lines. I spend many hours uh, coding it and making sure it works properly. And I will show you at the end of the video how you can download this for free. Now in this package, you will receive a strategy and a function and an indicator. So this is the indicator plotted on the ES.D, this is the S&P 500 futures contract on the daily session. And as you can see right now, it's zero patterns. So now I'm going to change the indicator. Remember we have 44 patterns as of this version. I will be upgrading this version to add more patterns. So if I put pattern number one and I verify, you see we have one pattern. The data here is since 2006. So what about pattern two? And pattern two, we have 365. The nice thing about this indicator is it will plot a histogram when it finds the pattern. So for example, this is the pattern here, and this one, and this one, and the current day is also a pattern here, and so on and so forth. So you can see since 2006, we have 365 occurrences of this pattern. So this is pattern number two. Here's the description. It's a rising window. It's a two candle bullish continuation pattern and so on and so forth. So I put the description of each pattern so you understand what the pattern is doing. But the indicator will help you plot and see to test your strategies and see they are behaving properly. Now those patterns can happen in any time frame and in any instrument. But also those patterns can be defined as in a uptrend or a downtrend or zero trend. What I mean by that is take the doji pattern. If it's in an uptrend, maybe that's a significant reversal pattern than in its uh, sideways. So I added two rules for trading. One is above the 50 day moving average. The other is above 50 and above 200 day moving average. So now we have either zero, which is no trend, one, which is the close above the 50 day moving average, two is above the 50 and above the 200 day moving average. And of course, now you can see that you can add unlimited conditions. You can add volatility filters, you can add direction filters, ADX and so on and so forth. But in version one, I kept everything simple, simple enough, it's still 500 lines of code but it's uh, very much usable and anybody can understand this. So let's try this in a strategy right now. This is the strategy code. It's extremely simple. We have two inputs for the function. So you will get this function in the download. So the function looks for a pattern number. Remember I have 44 pattern in this version. So you put the pattern number and the trend rule. So a trend rule, remember zero, it's no trend. One is above the 50 day moving average. Two is above the 50 and the 200 day moving average. Now this is not the close. This is the pattern happening above the moving average. So the function will return one if the pattern is found. 
and will return zero if it is not found. So here, this is the code to buy. So if the pattern number zero, this one, or value one, which is which is looking at the function output, if value one equals one, then we buy next bar at market. And then we will exit after two bars. Actually, after three bars, because this is greater than. So what does this mean? Why do I have this one here? So that I can pass through without any patterns. So zero means I'm not looking for any pattern. So we can compare the other results. So right now, this is zero. That means uh, there are no filters. Basically, we are buying, exiting after three days, buying again, exiting after three days, and so on and so forth. And here is our strategy results. Uh, remember, this is the ES. So of course, any buying strategy will do well. It's just a matter of how much drawdown you can suffer. This is since 2006, and we have a big drawdown here in the beginning of about 37,000. And we look at the performance summary. So we have $141,000, uh, 1,038 trades. We're making $136 per trade. Now remember, no slippage and commission here. So this is not good, you cannot use this. And also very important is the return to drawdown ratio. So this is the return to drawdown ratio, rate station call it net profit as percent of drawdown. If you divide by 100, they just mean it's 2.1. That means we are making two times profits compared to our maximum drawdown. So 2.1. So let's remember those figures. Now I just want to show you that this will not change much if I change the number of days. So if I pick one, you can see now it's more trades, less average trade, uh, but basically it's still the same 2.1. And if I go, let's say, to three, so now we're making 38 less trades and bigger average trade and most likely bigger drawdown. And if I go, let's say, to five, same story, less trades, bigger average drawdown, and same return to drawdown ratio. So this example shows how the S&P 500 usually goes up most of the time. Of course, we had 10 years of bull market, but remember this is 2006, so we still have 2008 crash, we have 2015 crash, we have 2020, a very shallow crash, and we have 2022, uh, which is uh, basically we are still in a drawdown. But still, the up momentum is always there built in the S&P 500 because the S&P 500, it's a system that gets rid of the weak stocks and uh, gets in the stronger stocks. What if I only enter when I get the pattern as true? And we can do that in an optimization. So if we go to strategies, we customize. So we have the pattern number. Remember, in the current version is 0 to 44, step one. And I have three steps for the trend rule. So zero, there is no trend, one or two. So in total, we have 135 uh, combinations, and we can run that very quickly. And let's look at our performance report. So here, the performance report is sorted by the net profit. And of course, zero, that means there are no patterns. So we are just buying, exiting after three days, buying again, and so on and so forth. 830 trades, this is the drawdown, and the net profit 138. The next best thing is pattern number 33. We have 200 trades, making 117, and drawdown is 26. 33, this is trend two, 33, no trend, and 33, one. Now remember, some patterns like 33, you can see they are the same numbers exactly because the trend is not built into that pattern. So not all patterns have this condition of the trend. The next best pattern we see is 38 and zero, no trend. That one makes 88 and 13 drawdown, 91 trades. And then there is three, so zero making 48 and one making 35. So let me focus on the top three. So 33, 38, zero, and three, zero. So now instead of this, now we exactly know which pattern we're gonna pick. So what we need is we need to get a value for 
these patterns. So we have three patterns. Let's name them 10, 11, and 12. So pattern number one is 33 and zero. So pattern number is 33. Trend rule is zero. Number two is 38 and zero. So 38, zero. And number three, three and zero. Now three and zero is making 48, but the drawdown is 36. So it's not even two to one. 35 and 27 is not even two to one. And then I have 38 and then I have eight. 22 and five. So eight looks better than 33 because my return to drawdown is almost four. So let me pick eight, one. Now that I have these three values, I want them to be one so that the pattern is there. So let's comment this and we will start a new sentence. If value 10 equals one or value 11 equals 1 or value 12 equals 1 then begin so that means if i see pattern 33 pattern 38 or pattern 8 then i will enter the market and i will always exit after three bars so let's run this strategy now and here are the results so we are making 148 thousand dollars it's 261 trades and the average trade is 570. So we definitely made a huge enhancement to the average trade. Plus we are making more money. And let's look at our drawdown. And our drawdown is 29. Return to drawdown ratio now is 5. So remember it was 2.3. So we doubled return to drawdown. We decrease our drawdown. We enhance our average trade. So all in all, much better strategy. And this is only from chart pattern. So yes, the S&P 500 tends to go up most of the time, but with this methodology, we picked the right time to enter the market. Just look at this. So 2022 is a down year. 2008 is a down year. And 2015, we have a crash. And 2020, we have a crash. And you notice through those down years, we are making money. The losing years are different, 2011, 2007. So you can see now how this pattern can be easily combined with any other strategy because most other strategy are losing in 2008 and 2022. As you notice, the candlestick patterns can be used in different ways and I'm sure this is an innovative way. Probably you don't know about it or probably you know about it, but now you have the code and the strategy to use it in any other instrument. Remember, I picked the ES, but you can pick any other instrument and you can go long and short and you can add many patterns. So the, uh, the options are unlimited. Here we are on heating oil and this time we will use the candle patterns in a different way. So this time we already have a condition to enter. So this is a breakout strategy. It's a simple breakout strategy if the high greater than the highest close of the last 10 bars we will enter the market so this is condition one if condition one is true then we buy next bright market again we exit after three bars same like before if pattern is equal zero that means just pass through don't wait for a pattern or value one equal one that means or there is a pattern so let's see the performance of this strategy on its own so this is a strategy it's a profitable strategy as expected because it's a breakout strategy you can see I can change, let's say, bar since entry from three to five. And instead of making 160,000, you see we are making 180,000. And if I go the opposite side, if a bar since entry is one, still profitable strategy, we are making 175,000. So let's go back to three. Same thing here. If I change this to 12, we are making more money. And if I change this to eight, which is the opposite side. And again, we are making even more money, 200,000 now. So you can see I didn't pick the best. This is just a simple breakout strategy. The important part is not the breakout strategy, is the candlestick patterns and the way we are going to use it. So currently, this is the strategy. Let's see the numbers. So we are making $150,000, 433 trades, on average making $360. 
This is not including commission and slippage. And most importantly here, it's the return to drawdown ratio, which is 1.9. Okay, so now we will cycle through our patterns, but this time we will keep the condition of entry. So that means we will enter when there is a breakout, plus if the pattern exists, and we will optimize through all the patterns. So again, we will optimize from 0 to 44 in step 1, and the trend from 0 to 2 in step 1. And we optimize. Let's close this. And let's sort by the net profit. So zero is the best. That means no pattern is the best. Let's look at the next best. So 33, remember 33 doesn't use the trend. So zero, one, two will produce the same results. So 33 is good. The next one is 32. Again, it doesn't use the trend. Also, it's good, 28 and losing seven. And then the next one is number eight, which is two to one, uh, but it's only six trades. Uh, let's look at this one, not good. And this one is 14 trades, also not good. So I will stick with 33 and 32. So now like before, we need to add those values. So let me paste those two and we'll do value 10, value 11. So the first pattern is 33 and zero and 32 and 0 so 32 and 0 33 and 0 and now I need to add those in so if condition 1 so if we have a breakout and any one of these patterns so either value 10 equal 1 or value 11 equal 1 so that means if I have a breakout and either pattern 32 or pattern 33 i will buy an bar market and we will exit after three bots so this is the original strategy 157 363 average trade and 1.9 drawdown so let's verify this now now we're making less money 113,000, but we reduce the total number of trades by a lot and that's why we have a huge average trade now so we get, went from 360 to 1000 it's almost three times the average trade and our return to drawdown now went to 3.8 we had uh, about eighty thousand dollar in drawdown and now it's 29 so yes we are making less money but much better average trade and that of course will help us a lot when we include commission and slippage and much better return to drawdown and we can see the performance is very, very nice. We had some trouble in the beginning. So between trade number 22 and 55, that's about, let's say, 30 trades where we didn't do anything. And then we went all the way up. Of course, I can still enhance this part. But even if I leave it at this, it's still very, very good strategy. And here are the periodical returns. So 2008 is a losing year, 2011. And 2023 is barely, we, have, we had only two trades and we lost $100. So remember, it's a breakout strategy. We're only filtering the number of trades that we are taking. So there you go, two secret methods on how to use the candlestick patterns in the proper way and how to test them in a proper way. You can either use them on their own as a signal to enter and to exit, and you can use them as filters for other signals to enter or to exit. Now we only tested the entry, but of course you can do the same thing for the exit. You can download the strategy code, the indicator code, and the function code, all unlocked for free. Remember that function code is more than 500 line of codes. I spend many, many hours, and all I ask in return is to hit the like button. And if you wanna learn more, make sure to watch this video, and I will see you there.